Shalom, shalom, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Pulse of Israel here in our eternal and ancestral homeland, the land of Israel. Today, I am in beautiful Tel Aviv, also an essential city in Israel, bringing Israel to the future with technology in so many ways. You can look, think of Tel Aviv as a partner to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a spiritual anchor of the Jewish people in the world. Tel Aviv is what's helping us in the, in the materialistic side. And today, I'm sitting with Itamar Ben Gvir, one of the rising stars of Israeli politics, very much delegitimized. I like to explain to meet people Itamar. People call him an extremist. What you should know about him, Itamar, I remember him very well back from my teenage years, back in the early 1990s, fighting off the horrendous, dangerous Oslo Accords. Itamar, an activist, and one of the key lessons that Itamar learned from those years was it's not enough to be an activist, you have to use the tools of democracy, the tools of, of, of that the legal world gives, and he studied to become a lawyer, and he's been a very successful lawyer, uh, and using the legal tools and the legal establishment to fight for the Jewish rights in our homeland. And while many people in many publications delegitimize Itamar for being an extremist, these are the same voices who, for years, and especially over the past two years, have been silent while the Israeli government had one of the parties, a terror-supporting party, Muslim Brotherhood, outlawed in the Muslim world, and yet silent and supportive of a terror-supporting party in Israel being part of the government, yet they go crazily and delegitimize a Jewish politician, even if they disagree. So, everyone, please meet Itamar Ben Gvir. Shalom Itamar. Shalom, shalom. Shalom lachem. Nice to meet you. All right, so I will be asking Itamar questions in Hebrew and then translating in English. So, who are you, Itamar Ben Gvir? Mi ata? I'm from Hebron. Uh, I have a wonderful wife and uh, six uh, wonderful children. And uh, I uh, uh, love Eretz Israel. I'm Israel, Torah Israel. And the Jewish people, the land of Israel, the people of Israel. Yes, I fight with the terrorists. The terrorists that uh, attack, not uh, just uh, Jewish, like me and you. And they attacked uh, in Um el Fahem, Arabs. They attacked uh, in Rat, a uh, 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 Bedouin. Israel and Arabs. I, yes, and I want Israel to be a safe. Israeli a Jewish uh, 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 state. And uh, I love Israel. So, before I introduced you, that first you were an activist, then you started to be a lawyer, and you've very successfully worked in law. Why a politician? Why get involved in politics? Can you have the Amazon? Can you have the Arts as well? You hold TV, Stakati, Kurdin, Abemot, Kesef, Ganko, Dina, Gav, Zakti, Hayalim, Bechina, Pilim, Baitish, Wood, Bechina, Aval, and you flattered the Lechet La Politica, Ki Israel, Sakana. Okay, so Itam is saying that uh, he became a politician, he, he's, he decided to go into politics, become a politician, because he, he, like he says, he loves the Jewish people, he loves the land of Israel, and uh, the land of Israel is in danger, and he could have made a lot of money continuing the legal direction, but Israel's in danger, and he, he, things need to be done, and you have, you have to get involved in politics to make a difference. Achshav, yesh b'tzibur yisraelit, chashmal ba'avir. זה שאתה נכנסת, אתה כבר נכנסת לתחום, אתה פה פוליטיקה, uh, בבלייך, ב- בתיכונים האחרים, יש התלהבות מהנוער, מאיפה זה בא? I just asked the Tamar before he answers, there's, a, there's an excitement in the air today in the Israeli society, and even with the youth, he just spoke at a couple of, of secular high schools, Israeli high schools, and there's excitement, the youth are getting excited for Itamar and what he represents. It's not just Itamar, first of all, it's in every place I'm going to go, in the east, in the west, and they're going to take us today from the kibbutz, they're going to take us to the kibbutz. It's not just the youth, it's everyone of north, south, all ages, he was invited to a secular kibbutz up north. Yes, we're going to take us now to take us now, but we're in every place we're very very popular. We're very popular because the people in Israel know שבסוף מי שרוצה לדאוג למדינה, מי שרוצה להשאיר אותה מדינה יהודית, מי שרוצה להשאיר אותה מדינה בטוחה. היום הגענו למצב שיהודים הולכים בדרום מפחדים, יהודים הולכים ביפו חוששים לחיים שלהם, החיים של הרבה מאוד יהודים בסכנה. לכן אנשים יודעים שלבחור בי, לבחור בעוצמה יהודית, זה נותן את הפתרון של מדינה יהודית, דמוקרטית, בטוחה. So Itamar is explaining that the excitement is all over the place and he was saying he was invited by a secular kibbutz and you have to understand that Itamar represents religious, he doesn't represent just the religious, he represents all Israel and all of Israelis, but he's tagged by the media as being religious and yet even secular kibbutzim and secular, secular adults, north, south, 
uh, are supportive of him and, and excited for him. And it's because uh, even today it's dangerous to be walking around, not just like a Jew, but even like an Arab, like a down south. And Itamar, as his party, represents Otzma Yudit, Jewish strength. They represent strength in order to defend and protect the state of Israel, all Israelis, Jews, and non-Jews. So, why are you painted as an extremist, Itamar? They do this to everyone they don't like. אבל אני חושב שבמקרה שלי, אני גם יודעים שאני בא כדי לשנות, ובעזרת השם, אם אני אהיה בממשלה, לא תהיה ממשלת ימין מלא מלא, וכמו שאמרת, אנחנו נדאג לכולם. אין לי שנאה לערבים, יש לי שנאה למי שנלחם נגדנו, יש לי שנאה למי ששונא את העם שלנו, יש לי שנאה למי שרוצה לרצוח יהודים או ערבים בגלל ג'יהאד, בגלל מלחמת קודש, ואגב, יש לי חדשות בשבילך, הם לא רק שונאים אותנו כאן בישראל, הם שונאים את ארצות הברית, הם שונאים את האירופה, הם שונאים כל מה שזז, כי הם לא אוהבים, הם פשוט רוצים ג'יהאד. So Ethan was explaining, first of all, it's not just me, the media, the left, they paint Netanyahu as being extreme, they paint other right-wing politicians as being extreme. It's not just me, they're more afraid of me right now because they know I'm coming to change things, that I'm coming to make a difference and defend and, strength and, and strengthen all of Israel to really defend Israel as a Jewish state with its democracy protecting all of its citizens. As they say, כאילו, מה, אתה נכנס לממשלה, בעזרת השם, right? You become a politician, you become a minister. What are you going to work on? חוק חסינות לחיילים שלנו, נראה לנו מצב שחייל צריך ללכת עם עורך דין. חוק מוות למחבלים, מה שיש בארצות הברית יכול לעבוד גם קל, הרי לא יכול להיות שיבחרו וירצחו בתינוקות, משפחות, משפחת פוגל, הרוצחים שלהם הם יושבים בבית כלא שהוא מלון הכל כלול, לא יכול להיות שהם יחיו כאשר רצחו משפחה, רצחו תינוקת, רצחו ילדים. Two things. First of all, I think it's very interesting what you started out first. His, uh, Itamar's first thing, what he wants to change when he gets into government, is a law to protect Israeli IDF soldiers. Because right now, and I'm going to give the context, Israel's legal establishment has taken over government and even Israeli's military that unfortunately if Israeli soldiers try to defend themselves or to defend other Israelis under terror threat, they get very little defense from the military because the legal establishment has become has, has made the military to be totally legalized and the first law that Itamar wants to pass is to defend Israeli soldiers obviously so long as everything they did was legal and within their decision split-second decision to do what is the right thing to do they should be defended for standing up and defending themselves and, and all Israelis and not be automatically put, be put on, on trial and potentially um, uh, lynched by the media and by politicians and even by army brass and that was his first thing that he wants to do the second thing he wants to do was uh, implement implement the, the, the death penalty in Israel. Israel Israel has a death penalty, but it's never used. And instead, we have terrorists who sit in jail for years. They earn university degrees. They get all the benefits. They're able to watch anything they want on television. So that it's like it's like the Hilton just uh, just in a jail. And Itamar wants to ensure that if a terrorist is arrested, in he was not killed in the the act of actually committing a terror. If he's in jail, he should be put to death for being the terrorist. And not enjoy sitting in the Hilton jail and wait until possibly released. Yeah. I'm also going to change the law of the fire. Today in Israel, they are throwing soldiers out of the fire. But they are not allowed to give. No place in the world. The United States are throwing soldiers out of the fire. But they are not allowed to give. Number three, he wants to change to ensure that the rules of engagement that the IDF soldiers use, and I am a reserve soldier, I'm in there all the time, I hear all the, the rules of engagement, me and my fellow soldiers, whenever we're told, well, if this happens and this happens, and we're like, wait a second, we, we have to make split-second decisions, you're telling us to make, like, 10 minute worth of decisions, is this the situation, is that the situation, in order to know whether we can fire to defend and protect whatever the situation is, Itamar wants to change that, again, to allow the soldiers to do what is necessary in the split second decisions they have to engage and stop terrorists from taking terror actions as opposed to the situation today which it's very confusing for most soldiers and because of that confusion and fear of getting 
prosecuted potentially, they hold back and don't do what, what is necessary. Ken, what is the problem? In the United States, it's not like the United States. In the United States, he can be able to choose the people, they can be able to choose the people, in the Senate or in the Congress. Here in Israel, there is no such thing. שופט מביא שופט, חבר מביא חבר, וכך יוצא מצב שבו יש לנו מערכת משפט שהיא מנותקת ממה שהעם חושב. רוב העם חושב אחר ממה שהשופטים בבית המשפט העליון בישראל חושבים, ובית המשפט העליון בישראל, בניגוד לבית המשפט בארצות הברית, השופטים מביאים את האג'נדה שלהם ומתערבים בכל ההחלטות. for Israel's Supreme Court. Today it is basically a rigged system. It's friend brings friends. The judges there bring their fellow judges. It is not like in America where there are hearings and the politicians decide. Here the judges have a very huge weight in deciding which judges are chosen. And unfortunately most of them, it ensures they have a majority of continual progressive leaning judges that do not follow what the majority of the Jewish people in Israel want for there to be a strong Jewish state of Israel also using using the Supreme Court and unfortunately the progressives just just replace themselves and keep on uh, and, and having enough to a majority and that holds back the justice system so we need to change in that as well okay. <laughs> אני בא ממשפחה, אני חזרתי בתשובה, ההורים שלי היו אנשים חילונים, אגב אנשים הכי נפלאים, הכי מתוקים שאני מכיר, אבל הזהות היהודית, העובדה שצריך שיהיה לי כאן מורשת ישראל, לחנך מי אנחנו, מה אנחנו, כל העולם יש גאווה, התנ״ך, אברהם אבינו, יצחק, יעקב האבות שלנו, דוד המלך, שלמה המלך, זה שמות של גאווה מאוד 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 גדולה, משה רבנו, ולעומת זאת כאן בישראל לא תמיד מלמדים את זה, לא תמיד מפנימים את זה שאנחנו עם, שהקדוש ברוך הוא אוהב, אנחנו חזרנו לארץ שלנו, לארץ התנ״ך, לבית שלנו, לבית של כל היהודים, ו- ובאמת מציון תצא תורה, זה בית שצריך להפיץ אור לכל העולם. Right, and uh, finally, Itamar says he wants to ensure to work hard on strengthening the Jewish identity. I'm going to say both the Jewish identity of the state of Israel, but of all Israelis here in Israel. We have so much to be proud of of our tradition, of our ancestral history, of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, of Moses, and yet there are so many Israelis who are not taught any of this. Our own schools don't taught this. And in order to be a strong country to protect Jews and all non-Jews who live with us, we must know where we come from to know where we're going. And in order to protect all of us, we have to have a strong Jewish state of Israel based on a strong Jewish identity. So what plans, what are the plans in order to, to strengthen Jewish identity for Israel? נלמד בבתי הספר יותר תנ״ך, יותר גמרא, יותר משנה, יותר את המורשת שלנו, יותר מי אנחנו ומה אנחנו. אתה יודע, לפעמים התחושה היא שבישראל מתביישים, מתביישים לחנך, ל- ל- להיות יהודי, ואני אומר עוד פעם, הדת היהודית, התורה שלנו לא שייכת רק לאיתמר בן, והיא לא שייכת רק לאנשים דתיים, שייכת גם לחילונים, היא גם בהחלט תורה שמפיצה אור בכל העולם כולו. אנחנו צריכים להיות גאים בה. Right, and Itamar says we have to be teaching more Bible, more Jewish history, right? All, all these issues that are not taught today, unfortunately, to Jewish youth. And Itamar mentioned before, and I forgot to, to add in, and he said it again, uh, he comes from a non-religious background. He goes, I'm not talking about religious, that Israel has to be a religious country, and only for the religious. No, 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 we have wonderful, beautiful Jews who are not religious. We are a people, all of us. All Jews, religious, non-religious, the, the, our history is our history, the Bible is all of our history, it's all of our identity, regardless of what level of religiosity some, something is, and we can't be embarrassed of our identity. And today, much of the Israeli leadership uh, and establishment is embarrassed about the Jewish identity, and that has to change, and Itamar plans on coming with different programs to change that as well. If I would say it, it's about helping strengthen Israel, both on the defense level, in, internal defense, in Israel's borders as well as versus our terrorist enemies outside of Israel but a strong uh, uh, offense of strengthening the Jewish identity because that will end up being the true solution to strengthening all of us and making Israel the best safest place 
for all Israeli citizens, Jew, no matter how religious, and non-Jew who are blessed to be Israeli citizens. Final message to people abroad about that, that, that you want to leave people with to counter all of the other narratives that are being given about you in the press. טוב, אני באמת מקווה שישמעו, יחקרו, ילמדו, ישמעו את מה שאני אומר גם כאן ובכל מיני מקומות, כי מנסים לעשות לי איזשהו סוג של לפגוע בי, לפגוע באמת שלי, לפגוע במה שאני מוביל, כי, כי חוששים, ואתה יודע למה חוששים, השמאל הקיצוני מאוד חושש, הטרוריסטים, הג'יהאדיסטים מאוד מאוד חוששים, כי הם יודעים שאני בצד של הטובים, ושאני רוצה שיהיה כאן טוב, שיהיה כאן טוב לכל היהודים, שיהיה טוב גם למי שלא יהודי שגר כאן, יש שם טוב לכל העולם. אנחנו אה, אה, מייצגים את מי שנלחמים באותו ג'יהאד, באותו אלה שבאו אה, 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 למגדלי התאומים ורצו לחסר, חיסלו, הרגו, פגעו, כל אלה שרוצים להפוך את כל העולם כולו לשלטון חליפות. שאף אחד לא יחשוב שזה לא קורה ולא יקרה, לא. זה קורה כאן, וזה קורה עכשיו הרבה מאוד באירופה, וזה גם יש מגמות כאלה בכל מיני מקומות ברחבי העולם, שמנסים אותם ג'יהאדיסטים להכריז מלחמת ג'יהאד. אנחנו... המאבק שלהם, אני נאבק בהם, החמאס רוצה לחסל אותי, אני מסתובב שומרי ראש כי החמאס רצה לחסל אותי, ניסה לחסל אותי, ניסו לחסל אותי כי הם יודעים שאני נלחם בהם, אנחנו הטובים, הם הרעים, הטובים צריכים לנצח. So Itamar's final message to everyone is he hopes people take the time to do their own research, listen to his actual words, see his actual actions, and not just trust the narratives, the false narratives that the media is going to be feeding you, and even the Jewish establishment and the Israeli establishment is going to be feeding you about him. So yes, do your research, and this is one video you can use as the basis for that research. And to understand that the reason he is so delegitimized is because of the left and the jihadis uh, from the Islamic world, they're, they're, they're afraid. They're afraid of Itamar Ben-Vir ben because they see he is coming to change and he is standing up for all of us, for the good. That he's not just fighting the jihadis here in Israel, but it's the same jihadis that took down uh, the World Trade Center in 9-11. It's the same jihadis that are growing and terrorizing Muslim populations and European populations in Europe and cities across the Western world. So they are worried because he stands for the good. They don't want the good to come to power and actually make change and stand up to defend Israel and therefore be a light to the Western world as well to stand up and defend themselves. So Itam, I thank you very, very much. Toda rabah. Toda rabah. Toda rabah. Toda rabah. Toda rabah. All right. Toda. And all of you. Do your research, your own independent research, and we need powerful, good voices to stand up for a strong Jewish identity. And again, think to yourself, how are you listening and how are you reading those, 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 those articles that are delegitimizing a proud Jew? You might disagree with him on some things, totally fine, but he's a proud Jew, wants to defend all of humanity as well as Israel and Israeli Arabs, but yet you were silent when we had a Muslim Brotherhood party as a partner in the Israeli government and we have terror supporting Arab Israeli Knesset members in Israel's parliament. How are you silent about that but yet you're being told to be upset about a proud Jew who wants to represent and make Israel a strong, safe place for all Israeli citizens. Think about that. Signing off from the eternal ancestral homeland of the Jewish people, this is Avi Yebola for the Pulse of Israel in the beautiful city of Tel Aviv. Shalom, shalom everyone. Pulse of Israel. Frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.